Hey, it's me. Are you surprised that a new episode of Masonic Curators is out? Well, me too. Aside from what I'm going to share in this short video is a bit of inspiring news. But before we get to that, let's take a look at this remarkable statuette. You know, it's a building, right? To be specific, the Grand Lodge of Massachusetts. It says so right there. It also says right here that it lists the address as 186 Tremont Street, Boston. Now the back and the other side are plain. The bottom is interesting though. It has the sticker in the year it was manufactured, which is 2007. It's called a Sebastian Miniature, and I've been told it's up to each Grand Master to design something like this and offer it. Now the Grand Lodge of Massachusetts was founded on the 5th of March in 1792. The title on their document says the Grand Lodge of the Most Ancient and Honorable Society of Free and Accepted Masons of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. This is one, as all of them are uh, limited edition actually, this one is number 172 out of 250 and uh, kind of interesting. Where did I get this? Well, I'm a member of Ezekiel Bates in Massachusetts and also a proud supporter of my lodge there, but it's not where I received this uh, token. I received this from our Valley of Chicago photographer. I would say his name, but I don't know if he wants to uh, have me do that. So I'll err on the side of caution and omit it. But he found essentially a box of these at the Goodwill. And they were priced at $1. He bought them all and has been giving them to his brothers whom he knows would enjoy them. Now, I have to thank this brother because it was such a fantastic gift, but also because I'm a member of the Grand Lodge of Massachusetts. It means a little something more, more uh, memorable. Perhaps my favorite part of this is the mural, which uh, is right here. Now, it's not there any longer, I don't think, and I'll put a picture of it uh, in the video here so you can see it. But, you know, here's what we know about the Grand Lodge of Massachusetts building. Although there are indications that Freemasons met at several Boston locations in the 1720s, the constitution of the first lodge, later named St. John, took place at that Bunch of Grapes Tavern on July 30th, 1733. This is also considered the first home of the Provincial Grand Lodge, and after the Revolutionary War there were references to the Royal Exchange Coffee House as a potential site for a home, but few records exist of this. So the second floor of the Old State House was leased in 1821, and this is the only building remaining in the city that housed the Grand Lodge prior to its present building. So in 1830, the Grand Lodge purchased land at the corner of Tremont Street and Temple Place to, and proceeded to uh, lay the cornerstone for this temple. Now, there was a battle over the Commonwealth that the Grand Lodge uh, Acts of Incorporation caused the Grand Lodge to sell the building to Brother Robert Gould Shaw, who sold it back to the Grand Lodge in 1835 after the anti-Masonic feelings calmed down. The building was sold to the U.S. government for $105,000 for use as a federal courthouse in 1857 because it was no longer adequate for a growing fraternity. Temporary headquarters were relocated to a building on Summer Street. A search for a permanent location ended up with the purchase of the Winthrop House at the corner of Tremont and Boylston Streets in 1859. A fire destroyed the building on April 6, 1864. By October, a cornerstone was laid for a new building in the same location and the building was dedicated in 1867. Now, when a fire destroyed part of the building in 1895, some wanted to sell the land and relocate. It was decided to tear down the entire building and rebuild a more substantial structure on the same site with nine floors above the street level and two below. The cornerstone was laid in June of 1898 and the building was dedicated on December 27, 1899. For many years, there were storefronts on the street level with an entrance to the Masonic Temple on Boylston Street. In 1966, the stores were vacated Mosaics were added to the exterior, and the entrance was moved to the corner. The interior contained a new lobby and a banquet facility that was named Paul Revere Banquet Hall. But in 2017, the street level was converted into a restaurant, and the entrance to the Masonic Temple was moved back to Boylston Street. So now I have this little piece of history that made its way into a second-hand store, priced to move at a dollar. It's a good value if you ask me. Uh, this piece ties directly into the news I'm going to share. Masonic Curators was a one-off project for me, and I had so many Masonic knickknacks and gizmos and gadgets all lining these shelves over here, wherever, just oddities, etc., that I thought would be really fun to share with you all, and also to provide expertise should you 
someone out there want to share something with the channel. We received a few guest submissions over our time here on Masonic Curators. In all, we stopped producing episodes at I think number 50 or 51. The project was not intended to continue. It was thought up, produced, and put out on YouTube so that people could find them forever. Subscribers even continued to grow today, even though there's no new content. There is a thirst for this kind of stuff. So today, I'm so happy to say that I have been working with my Massachusetts Grand Lodge committees, notably Right Worshipful Brothers Jarzebeck and Simmons, on producing new episodes which will be released very soon, right here on this channel. These new episodes are filmed very professionally, and the items in history they will be sharing, wow, you're not going to believe it. So from time to time, I may be back, but from today moving forward, I've partnered with the Grand Lodge to bring you just epic content. Get ready for it. I want you to like and subscribe to these videos. We're getting ready to celebrate America's 250th anniversary. One way we can celebrate America is by looking at our Masonic history. Many of the items that you'll see will leave you in awe. They'll make you wonder and also make you proud of the Masonic heritage in these United States. I want to ask you to subscribe and to turn on your notifications because new episodes are going to come out each week for a spell and then more will follow, kind of like how seasons of television shows work. So in closing, I want to say thank you to Brother Brian Simmons, Brother Mike Jarzebeck, the Grand Master of Massachusetts, and the Grand Lodge for your support. And also, thanks to you, my brothers and sisters, for watching and sharing these videos. To find out more about Massachusetts Freemasonry, visit massfreemasonry.org. If you love Masonic education, check out our podcast, The Whence Came You Podcast, which has been delivering quality, trustworthy Masonic education spanning philosophy, history, and yes, even that esoteric stuff for over 10 years. I'm Robert Johnson, and I'll talk to you all soon. Take care, and enjoy the content that's coming.